Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. We've got a good one today. We have a mineral sunscreen showdown. So a lot of people will ask me, what is my favorite mineral sunscreen? What mineral sunscreens do you suggest? Um, this video is not about that, <laughs> but it is about comparing and contrasting two very new, somewhat new uh, mineral sunscreens from the brand Supergoop. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Definitely make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, do all those things so that you are aware of my videos. Um, I come out with tubing mascara videos, sunscreen videos, skincare, some makeup. It's kind of a mixed bag, but really sunscreen and tubing mascara are two of my main loves. So if you like those, stick around and we do lots of them here. Okay, so I have two of them right here. We have the sheer screen and then we have the matte screen. Sorry, they don't pull up really well on camera just because of the light color and, and then the silver font, but they are them, <laughs> I'm not lying. And I wanted to do the showdown of these two because the sheer screen, I'm gonna get them wrong each time. They also look exactly alike, so there's no way for me to differentiate. But the sheer screen is their newest sunscreen and this is kind of their hyped up like miracle mineral sunscreen. And I really wanted to see what it was like. And I have owned this matte screen in the past. This is a new bottle though, because I either used all of mine up or it was expired, but for some reason I didn't have it. So I wanted to repurchase it so I could review them side by side. That said, they're not proposing that they're the same thing. I'm only doing them side by side just so you can kind of see the differences. I think it like it I think it actually helps seeing them side by side, but they're not meant to be the same. Um, I will try to give you some suggestions for other ones that are similar because Supergroup is kind of pricey, not cheap. <laughs> so let's do that. I'm gonna jump right in. I am going to just start applying them because I feel like there's so many people that do sunscreens and they don't apply them to their face. And I've heard from you guys that it's super helpful and I get it. Like I want to see it on somebody's face. I want to see it applied. So I will apply it and then we're going to talk through some of the pros, cons, you know, product details like I always do. Okay, let's go. So this is the sheer screen. It is an SPF 30, which is a little bit lower than the matte screen. It retails for $38 for 1.5 fluid ounces, or you can buy a smaller size, which is $17 for 0.5 fluid ounces. It has a very distinct smell. I can't figure it out, but I will let you know what it is later. The main active ingredient is zinc oxide, which is at 17.5%, which is a pretty good amount. And it says that it has squalane in it, which helps it remain light on application. And then they also say there is a sheer matrix technology, which is supposedly what helps it blend in more easily. As you can see, the application, it's not the best, but it's probably one of the better for a mineral sunscreen. So mineral sunscreens tend to be very chalky, tend to be very thick. And you can see with this one, it does glide on a bit easier than some of the others. I am trying to put it on in smaller doses, kind of smaller amounts and then layer it because that's the best way to do it when you have a mineral sunscreen. But as you can see, there's still quite a bit of a cast and I have kind of a medium skin tone. Next up is the matte screen. This has a 40 SPF. It's the same amount for both sizes. You have the regular and the small sizes. It has 17% zinc oxide and 0.7 titanium dioxide. This one definitely has a bit more silicone in it. It has that slippy, glidey feel but it is a matte formula, which I find pretty unique in the mineral sunscreen world. A lot of them go on very dewy. For both this one and the other, it would be interesting to test it out, mixing it with their zinc screen, which is a whole different sunscreen. I did not do that in this video, but it is an option. Supergoop tends to tell you to mix sunscreens, which I don't love, to be honest. So this isn't necessarily a showdown, but I think the application really showed you kind of what each one looks like when it's applied, how easily it goes on or not easily it goes on. I put on a little bit of makeup. I didn't put any foundation. I didn't even put concealer. I don't know what's going on. I just am kind of in a rush and I did things in a kind of ass backwards kind of way. So this is what we have. Um, I did put a little bit of bronzer on my face, mainly in my eyes, you can see in the crease. 
and then like a little bit around the edges of my face. But sunscreens aren't meant to be like 24 hour lasting wear, that kind of thing. You're meant to reapply them every two hours. So I don't find that a wear test is necessarily the best. What I do like is to know how it applies under makeup or under powder, or those kinds of things. I have worn these both many times and they do perfectly fine under makeup. I actually prefer the sheer screen under makeup. I don't think it's one of those mineral sunscreens that I would wear just on its own because it does have a little bit of, I don't want to say a white cast, but it does kind of have some residue just on my skin tone. And that's probably going to be the same if you have a deeper skin tone as well. If you have a lighter skin tone, this is going to be a really great one for you. The matte screen is like it suggests, it's a matte sunscreen, so it wears pretty well under things. I don't know if I would suggest wearing it under a full coverage foundation. Um, I think if you do want to wear a full coverage foundation, I would probably suggest a different sunscreen, um, maybe a chemical one instead of either of these, just because they do have a little bit more of a layer than your chemical sunscreens do. I definitely have a preference for the matte screen over the sheer screen. And like I said before, that is definitely because of my skin tone. In the winter, this might work better for me because in the summer, I definitely get more of a tint. Um, I wear sunscreen every day, but I still get a little bit of color. And it's just something that I am kind of conscious about because if I put the sheer screen on, then I know I have to put something on over it, be it a tinted moisturizer, more some bronzer, something like that, just to make it so it's not as distinct that I have a white forming sunscreen on. These are both really good sunscreens. I don't want to discourage anyone from buying them, but I think you can do better in both cases. So they are both $38. You can get them both at Sephora or on the Supergoop website. But my biggest qualm, and this is with almost all of the Supergoop products, I feel like I've been kind of down on Supergoop in the last few videos, and I used to really love them, but I think they're overcharging for things you can get elsewhere for a lot cheaper, mainly because there are a lot of Korean and Japanese sunscreens that kind of are doing the same thing and they're charging a whole lot less. So if you haven't already watched the video, I will post it above. I did a whole rundown of Korean sunscreens. Those are mainly chemical ones, so I didn't really jump into the mineral Korean sunscreens, but it does give you a good starting point. So for some dupes for the matte screen, I would suggest the Burst Guards Up. That is one that I've reviewed before. And then also the Inky List, I think it's just like called SPF sunscreen. Um, both are really kind of a tinted version of a sunscreen and they both kind of leave you a little bit more dewy than this one. This is definitely, when they say this is a matte one, it definitely is. So I don't have the best suggestion for a matte version because there aren't a lot of matte tinted mineral sunscreens. So if that is something you are looking for, this is kind of the only thing. There are other tinted mineral sunscreens out there, but this one is the only one that I found to be matte. Now, for a dupe for the sheer screen, I feel like we can find a few others. So the first one that comes to mind is the Purito Comfy Water. I am not 100% sure if they are still selling it because Purito had kind of um, some issues with their sunscreens. So I think that's probably not an option for us right now. But the other one, which I just posted about, is my new absolute favorite one, which is the Bliss Block Star. So this is an invisible, mineral sunscreen and it goes on way nicer, way more easily than the super goop one. So if you're looking for something half the price, this is it. If you want to watch the video, I will post it here. It's a really good one. I've been wearing it daily. All right. So those are kind of my thoughts on it. It's kind of, I don't know. This video is hard for me because I do feel like sometimes I'm down on super goop, but I also realize that they do have some of the more innovative formulas here in the U S and for some people, this is exactly what you need. If you need a tinted matte sunscreen that's mineral, this is really one of the only ones on the market. For that, I give them props. My other main issues though with Supergoop kind of more broadly is that as a brand, I don't think they do enough to kind of educate people on how they're not all gonna work for all skin tones. I see a lot of their models being very white. <laughs> um, I also see even if they do use like a darker skin tone model that they use just the slightest small amount so that of course then it goes on without a cast. But in reality, that's not how much we should be using. And I think that's kind of teaching people to underuse their sunscreen and I find that to be kind of damaging. 
So I wish they would do a better job of just saying like, this might not work on all skin types. They do say that with the matte screen, which is surprising because out of the two that I just reviewed, that one would work on a broader range of skin tones, whereas the sheer screen is really gonna only work for like light to medium in my opinion. So yeah, that's where we are. I want to love Supergoop, I really do, and I am so torn on this video because I did want to get it out there and I kind of, I guess I wanted to put it out for you to judge. I don't want to tell you what what you need or what you should like. Um, I think that's why doing the actual application so you can see how they go on, then you can make your own informed decision. But I will remind you, please use sunscreen every single day, even if it's cloudy, even if it's raining. These are things that you have to do. Your skin is damaged from UVA and UVB light. So one causes sunburn, that's the one we all think about when we go out in the sun. The other one actually causes premature aging, fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, all those things that you probably don't want. So just a reminder, wear it when it's sunny, wear it when it's cloudy, and find one that you like because it doesn't matter. If you don't like it, you're not gonna wear it. And the most important thing is that you're wearing sunscreen every day. <laughs> so with that, I will leave you to make up your own mind. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.